Hey, Jacob. Oh, hey, Matt. What are we driving today? It's a BYD. It's a BYD Atto, Atto 3. 3. Yes, that's right, people. We finally have the BYD Atto 3 on the channel. You guys have just been asking, 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 asking. And so have I. Matt, when are we getting the BYD Atto 3? Well, guess what? Guess it's, what, Jacob? It's tomorrow. <laughs> Here we are with the BYD Atto 3. This thing slaps. This thing slaps hard. It starts at 48 grand drive away for the standard range. That gives you about 400 kilometers, 50.1 kilowatt hour battery if you need to be totally sure. This here though is the extended range. It's only three grand more, 51 grand drive away, but it gives you 20% more range, 480 kilometers. And you get a lot, man. You know what I think? What? I think you'd be nutso schmutzo not to get this one. You would be nutso schmutzo not to buy the BYD Atto 3. So today we're going to take you for an exterior tour of the BYD Atto 3. I'm just going to say BYD. We're going to take you for an exterior tour of the BYD. Then we're going to check out the practicality and of course the wacky and wild interior, which we love. We love wacky and wild things. We're, we're little silly billies. Uh, then we're going to drive this thing. We're going to give it lots of source and we're going to performance test it. See just how quick it is from zero to 100 kilometers per hour using our specialist timing gear. And of course, we have a full written review of the BYD Atto 3 out on our website now, castles.com. So make sure you check that out after this. Jacob, can we please get into it? All right, friend, I actually want to start with one of the more disappointing things about the BYD Atto 3, and that's here in the little charge port, because oh. yes, this has AC charging, but it's also got DC charging, fast charging. But Rock it on, dude. AC, DC get the reference, but it maxes out at 80 kilowatts, um, which isn't the highest. In fact, it's not very great. It means that from zero to 80% will take you about 40 minutes. So doing longer road trips, like it's okay, but it's not ideal. No, your family's gonna get bored. Actually, probably not with a wacky interior. Let's talk about these, these daytime running lights. They're also your turning signals, bright LED lights there as well. You have some functional aero to streamline air across the side. This thing does have a low drag coefficient because it's an EV and it needs it. Frankly, it does. It just does. BYD, again, stands for Build Your Dreams. Kind of like LG, life's good, but build your dreams. Interesting. Down the bottom, you have a radar there. You've also got some functional aero and a camera there. Jacob, this has um, probably the best 360 camera in the world. Yeah, I'd say apart from the GWM tank. Oh, true. That, that one was wicked. And if you want to go watch that review afterwards, check it out. We'll link it down below. Otherwise, you have a light bar here that turns on when these lights are on. So it's a pretty lit up car. It's pretty lit, bro. Pretty lit. Uh, otherwise, that's it. It's not, not too much going on. Jacob? Shall we check out the side? Can we please do that? Now, Jacob, I need to um, address the elephant in the room. What? That is that our press car seems to have a lot of decals on it. Uh, BYD, spelt out on the side. Also a QR code. Look, I had, I had them installed. I need to tell you something. What? I, my head is now a QR code. And let's just say if you click that QR code, you might be surprised. The, the results may shock you. The results may shock you. But uh, let's check out the side of this thing. So you have 18 inch wheels here. They do uh, have Atlas tires on them. Got no, I've never heard of these tires before, but they're also not very good. As you will definitely see. Yeah, you will, you will definitely see that when we are launch this thing in torrential downpour. Uh, they do have aero covers on them as well to keep it, get, guess what, Jacob? A low drag coefficient. A low, a low drag coefficient. We love EVs. What the hell is this? That looks like a normal wiper. Oh. Thank you, today's video sponsor, WiperTech. That was a big rainbow. If you click the link down in the description below, that'll take you to WiperTech. Now, WiperTech offer the absolute best in direct-to-consumer wiper blades. That means if you've got bad wipers on your car like you, Jacob. You know what I'm going to be doing after this. I'm not pointing any fingers, but, but you, you are. You have, some, you have some pretty bad wipers on your car, man. You, you got some pretty pointy fingers. Probably pretty dangerous. WiperTech use high quality and durable Teflon embedded wiper blades that work in all weather conditions. I can attest, I've got them on my car. Zuh, I've got them on two actually. They also provide local support with free express delivery when you use my link down below and get 15% off your order using CarSource 15. Just bloody click the link. Helps the channel out as well. Let's get back to this. Let's do it. You have a BYD design little badge there, just in case you forgot this was a BYD. 360 camera there. No keyless entry and go on any other door but the driver's door, which is a little bit disappointing. BYD, <laughs> that's not standard. No, I think you'd have to pay a lot of money to get and that. You might look like a bit of a weirdo when you're driving. I know, Jacob, you've been driving this around all week. 
Yeah. Have I've, you thought I've I can been be getting a of, I thought I thought I was a celebrity because people were pointing their phones at my car. <laughs> hey, maybe it's working. Um, down the bottom, you have some silver stuff there. You've also got some roof rails too. By the way, huge panoramic sunroof, works well. Here you have some fish scaly looking stuff, and otherwise it's a mid-sized SUV, just under 4.5 meters. Jacob, let's check out the bum. But don't you want to scan for info? Oh, excuse me while I whip out my phone. Alrighty, friends, so coming to the fat bum of the BYD, or should I say, build your dreams, Atto 3. They're replacing that with just the BYD badge. God, thank cut, God. That's got to be the longest logo <laughs> ever. It's a little bit long on the tooth. I don't know what that means. Check this out, Jacob. You have a really nice light bar with some cool LED lights. A small little EV badge there. You've also got Atto 3 spelled out there as well. Roof spoiler, which is always good to see. I quite like the back of this car, man. It's really nice. It's elegant is how I would describe it. It's very simplistic. Then down the bottom, you have uh, just a lot going on with your diffuser and a very random and large uh, rear fog light, but it looks pretty cool. Agreed. Do you mind if we check out the practicality? Please do. Alrighty, friend. Let's talk about what is this is thing can put in its bum. Was that English? I lost Ooh. my. I lost my powered, powered tailgate. tailgate. Yes, very impressive. Uh, heaps of space in here. Look, it does have a bit of a raised floor, but you do have quite a lot of underfloor storage. No full size spare wheel, sadly. Just a goo kit. Boo. Uh, you do have some storage to the sides though. That's pretty damn good. You can also drop the second row and get a nice flat long loading area. So as far as mid smallish sized SUVs goes, it's pretty good. Definitely gets the job done. Let's check out the interior. Alrighty friend, let's talk about the interior. Dude, this thing is crazy. It's, it's pretty wild and wacky. So I understand why some people would not love it, but I absolutely <laughs> love it. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. As in you love it or you don't? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> you don't? I love it. Ah, oh, you love it. That's ah, I got you there. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> now I'm sad. <laughs> now I'm sad. <laughs> the car can't do it. <laughs> you, guys, you guys let us get away with it. <laughs> That's the issue. So, soft touch materials absolutely everywhere. And like, I think you described it as alien material. It's weird. Um, but it feels really nice, like really nice. Got this faux leather up on the dash here. Here it's all nice and quality. Some weird touches like the door handles are up here on this tweeter. So you pull it back and it, I don't know, it works. It's just a bit weird, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it feels like I'm stroking a blue whale. Ooh. Oh! Bro, oh. bro, show them That's my favorite quality. feature of the door. <gasps> We have guitar strings. Look, the door bins aren't that big. Some other weird things as well. Um, these air vents, they're just, they feel pretty substantial, but um, yeah, they, they're a bit weird. The shifter is a bit, bit alien, but again, it works. I don't know, man. It's just like, it's a bit weird. It's a bit wacky, but I love it. It's really cool. Even the start stop button is kind of intricate. Yeah, it's got a cool pattern to it. Um, the seats, they're not real leather, but they would almost surprise you. Like they feel real leather. They're also very supportive. You can adjust them automatically. Uh, so that's all very, very nice indeed. They are heated as well. I think for me, the highlight of the interior is the seats. It's, it's actually very, very impressive. Same with this steering wheel. Like at first glance, again, it's like a bit bit odd, bit strange, but it feels really nice to hold in the hands. The button layout can be a little bit confusing at first, but once you get it, it's actually pretty um, simple. You've also got on the left-hand side, all of your autonomous driving controls. Oh, my finger slipped. <gasps> oh my God, you've broken it. I've broken the car. Again, weird and wacky. We now have this display in a vertical mode. Um, but it works really well, like super responsive. You can do it on the screen as well. Press that button there. It flips back and the whole UI shifts unless you're in Apple CarPlay and then it will just turn and not go vertical. But anyway, um, it works fine. Like it actually works. And even if you are, when you click the Apple CarPlay from the vertical screen, it'll tilt the screen automatically. So it works really well. Unfortunately, most of your climate controls are done through the screen, but it's actually a very responsive screen. So it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. Yeah, I, I actually like the fact that it runs based off Android. Yeah, it does. Um, Android OS. Also, you've got an air purifier. 
And That's can, really cool. You can see that in re real time. So pretty cool stuff, especially these COVID, COVID times, Jacob. Can I point out another cool thing? May you please. It tells you your elevation and your pitch. Oh, we're currently at two degrees and 107 meters high. <laughs> now they're gonna be able to pinpoint our location somehow. <laughs> Uh, here you've got a pretty decent sized glove box. You've got a wireless charger there too. Heaps of storage under here with a USB-A port, USB-C port, and a 12 volt socket. You've also got some functions for your aircon, but I wish temperature was there as well. I don't know, it's almost useless to have these buttons anyway, because you, you literally have to do it through the screen. Your mode selectors here as well for your drive mode. You've also got your regen here, and you've got an off-road mode, which we probably should have done when we launched this thing, because this, uh, this car doesn't have much traction on these Atlas tires. Up in front of you, you have a motorcycle display, um, look, which is fine. Like, it's, it's neither good nor bad. I honestly don't really care about the digital instrument cluster being tiny. No, but it is a bit small. Sound system in here? Unreal. Really good. Unreal. Really, really good. I don't often see that from Chinese manufacturers, so I'm glad it's here. You've got a couple of cup holders here. This is nice and soft. In here, you've got quite a lot of space as well. As I said, huge panoramic sunroof, which is really nice to have. And actually, I feel like the center armrest is a good example of just interesting textures that they've used everywhere. Like, yeah. it's not just standard, you know? No, no, it's got like a corrugated feel to it. It feels really, really nice. Overall, man, I'm super impressed with this interior. Like, it's genuinely very, very good. Me too. I was wowed. Let's, uh, let's check out the back seats. Let's do it. So, the back seats are kind of why you would buy a BYD at 03 over uh, an MG4, which we loved. Yeah. Uh, uh, Except it didn't have the, the most space in the back. No. At 5'11", I've got so much leg room. Toe room is actually pretty decent. Head room as well, really, really good. You have these really cool design here for your map pockets. You've got multiple. Um, air vents back here too with a BYD design badge. You've also got a USB-A port, USB-C port, and a little bit of a storage area, so it's all nice. Same wacky door handles. I love that. I don't know what... Ooh. Oh, it feels quality. Soft touch materials as well and more. <laughs> Guitar strings. You have a whole bloody band. That'll in this piss car. you off if you've got kids though. <laughs> I reckon. And they discover that. Don't tell them that they're guitar strings. Like they'll lose their minds. I think they'll figure that out for themselves. Ugh. Needed some extra space. These seats are nice and soft. Again, they feel very supportive. And being an EV, often you can have bad leg angles. My leg angle is good, even though the battery is living in the floor. And also you've got a flat floor as well. So that's also very good. This is the other thing I love. Oh, oh, nice and soft with a couple of cup holders. Man, the interior, look, it's not for everyone, but I think uh, I love it. It slaps. It slaps. Now I'm sad. Okay, Jack. Let's, uh, let's launch it. Oh, let's do it. All right, friend. It's time to launch the BYD at 03. We're going to test it 0 to 100 using our specialist timing gear. It's torrential downpour, but... Uh, traction off. <laughs> traction off. In fact, let's turn it negative. Let's negative do negative, negative traction. traction. Let's go backwards. Fist me and fist me good. Oh, this is not going to go down very well, is no. it? Here we go. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 it's really, it's really not this car's fault. Oh, no. It's terrible weather. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I mean, actually, honestly. For other cars, that would be really good. No, no, no. Considering that it's pissing down with rain right now, I reckon that's actually okay. 0 to 108.55 seconds. Although the first thing I would do with this car is just replace the bloody tires. Get some bloody Michelins on it and you'll be right. All right, Jacob, let's drive this thing. Alrighty, friend, driving the BYD at 03. Number three, in torrential downpour. It's essentially the end of the world, and we continue Feels to review like cars. It. That's just because we're good guys, Jacob, we're good guys. Um, let's change the uh, mode into, oh, we're in sport mode. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. If, yeah, you, you see what I mean there with a little bit of the torque steer? A little bit of torque steer, I don't mind it though, because torque steer is very um, sporty. sporty. You know, gives a bit of a sporting prowess to a car. Makes me feel very confident. Wow, we really have to talk loud with this rain. Powering the BYD at 03 is a single motor up front. Jacob puts out an insane 150 kilowatt of power. Oh. 310 newton meters of torque. Bloody hell. Unfortunately, because we are on some uh, pretty average tires, I'm gonna have to be very careful. I'm very scared. But let's talk about the ride quality because that's something that has genuinely impressed me. 
It's it's comfy, man. It's extremely comfy. I guess the only downside of that is that it's very floaty over certain sections of road, which, you know, you start to feel on longer trips. But uh, I would say for driving like this, it's really, really comfy. It's nice. It's a uh, good amount of power. Oh, yeah. Feel Look, the torque. We're not losing grip, but yeah, it's got a significant amount of power, especially at its price point. I did not expect that. The party lights in here. Must be a way to turn that off. Look, I'm sorry. I, I'm a little flamboyant, all right? I have it set up how I want. In sport mode, anyway, the steering is quite heavy. It actually feels quite nice. Oh, oh, nice and weighted. I like it a lot. Yeah. I, I think just... this car handles pretty well for its weight. I think so. I do wish we could give it a bit more sauce around these corners, but uh, it's a very, very, we have to be very careful. I feel the disappointment coming through your voice. It's so wet. It's so terrible today. Unreal. It's probably the worst conditions we've ever filmed in, I have to be honest, guys. It's really bad. Oh, I'm putting my foot down. Hey, I'll tell you what though, it's not losing grip runs. there. And maybe, maybe I was wrong about these tires. Maybe I was a bit, bit wrong. I'm still gonna be very careful. <laughs> I don't have the highest confidence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of torque steer yeah. through that. <laughs> oh, I don't mind that though. That clearly means that it does have quite a significant amount of power coming from that front wheel. I can't see the range because I've put a 288 front kilometers. I think that's a little bit disappointing, perhaps. If you're on the freeway, it's gonna it's gonna drop. Drop it's gonna significantly. Drop yeah. Even in eco mode, like I've been driving all day today. But I guess it's cheap. I guess it's cheap. It's 47 bloody grand. That's really cheap. I can't even see, it's so dark. Oh, I hope they can see us in that camera. All right, we're going to uh, give it a bit of sauce up, saucy cool. Just, you have our lives in your hands. Tickle my little pickle. Could be the last pickle touch. Oh, 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 oh God. That was actually okay. We get more wheel spin in uh, combustion engine oh, cars there, to be honest. All right, we're gonna go nice and Carefully. Oh, very gentle. Oh. Nice and gentle. Oh, I don't want to lose it. Oh my God. Actually pretty good. Hey, that's actually really good. Okay. That now, handles very well. Now we might go into a wall. Oh, I'm gonna try not to understeer. Oh God. Okay, we're understeering a oh, little bit. I mean, it was just a very consistent, gentle understeer throughout that whole corner. It truly was. But you know what? Given the conditions, that was surprisingly good. Good job. And apart from this rain noise, would you say that the noise inside of here has been pretty good. It's been really good, especially considering that we have a massive sunroof above us. That's nice. Which oh. is really nice. Oh, that's nice. But you know what? Can you hear any rain on the sunroof? No. Exactly. It's good quality, bro. Good quality. That's a good quality sunroof. Bro. I mean, let's not talk about aerodynamics, the fact that there's no water hitting the sunroof. Yeah. No, it's all hitting the windscreen. <laughs> but you can't hear anything. It's that drag coefficient. Look, yeah, man, bro. I'm um, I'm impressed. I Look, is it the best driving EV out there? No. But I think at its price point, it does a very good job. This definitely achieves its goal of being a nice budget EV. I would say that where it wins over probably my favorite budget EV at the moment, the MG4, Ooh. is frankly, it's comfort. It's a, yeah. lot, uh, it's a lot softer sprung than that car. So around town, this is better. Yeah, but it will sacrifice a bit of handling compared to the MG4, which handles like amazingly well. Yeah, it's like a go-kart yeah, It's like thing. a Polo GTI. All right, friend, let's get into our final Thoughts. Alrighty, friend. May I give you my final thoughts on the BYD at 03? Oh, I'd love you to. I really like this thing, man. Do you? There's something about cheap EVs that really tickles my little pickle. Tickles my wallet <laughs> in the right places. Look, there is definitely strong competition for this car, like the MG4. But as far as like a family small SUV goes, that's EV that gets good range, that's nice interior, that drives pretty well. I mean, it's pretty hard, man. There's the MG ZS EV, but frankly, this is way better. Dude, I think this car is a winner. It's an However, <gasps> would you take this or an MG4 for nine grand less? I'd take an MG4, but if I had kids, I'd probably take this. Let us know what you guys think though, down in the comment section and go watch our MG4 review. It's pretty good.